It is not often that a summer job leads to life-altering change. But for Jessica DeMoz, this was the case. Working as a firefighter, patrolling the backcountry, the truck she was riding in fishtailed, breaking her back and paralyzing her from the waist down. In the scope of spinal cord injury, I'm pretty lucky. I have my arms, I'm very strong. When I was sitting there in the hospital, mourning the loss of what I had, and then you meet somebody that has a gigantic power chair and they can only move it using a straw, and they have this crazy positive outlook on life. You see that and you think, what am I crying about? Like, nothing. So, smarten up. <laughs> An accomplished athlete before the accident. Not surprisingly, she channeled her energies into sports, both as part of her rehabilitation and as a way to give her life some semblance of normalcy. Sports played a huge role in my recovery. Definitely having the athlete's mindset of, let's just get on with this. Getting frustrated and saying, I'm going to go back to bed. It was like getting frustrated and like, no, damn it, I'm going to do this like today. And so for someone to say to me, oh, well, you know, you had this injury, but now look at you. Everything happens for a reason. You're on the national team. And no, I'm on the national team because I went out and I worked my ass off in the gym every day and because I made the choice that, okay, I'm in a wheelchair, but I'm going to do everything I possibly can to be as healthy and as fit as I can be. Her determination has led to a spot on Canada's women's wheelchair basketball team and fortuitously paved the way for her to meet her soulmate and eventual husband, John. Currently studying law at the University of Victoria, Jessica refuses to dwell on the what ifs. Like, I came from a place where I couldn't get dressed by myself. I couldn't sit up. I had to get help eating. Everybody has a reason why not. Everybody does. And you can choose to live your life that way. It's not going to be that great. Or you can do what you can, where you are, with what you got. And, uh... It's amazing what happens. Now in her mid-twenties, she has become a champion for workplace health and safety. Never shy for words, it is a message she repeatedly drills home at every opportunity. I consciously espouse safety everywhere. I have a hard time actually when I see somebody riding a bike without a helmet, not like rolling down my window and being like, do you realize the consequences of your actions? Embarrassed a few friends by actually getting like quite angry at them. I think, you know, I don't want to ruin my hair with a bike helmet. Really? Really? Like, I'm sitting here in front of them and that's something that they would say to me? Like, you don't want to ruin your hair? Can I tell you a story about, oh, I don't know, how I lost the year of my life? Not because I didn't have a bike helmet on, but I'm telling you right now that you could lose a lot more than that. So, put your helmet on. No. <laughs> don't worry about your hair. Put your seatbelt on. Don't jump off that rock into that lake you've never jumped into before. I know that a lot can be learned from my story, and, and I try to, and I do try to spread a message. And it's about each of us has, has made a conscious decision to uh, do what we can with what we got where we are, and and we're we're carrying on and doing some pretty cool things in spite of all that stuff that happened. Mm -hmm.